Progressive presents Mind Flowness with Flow. You are a mighty fortress of supreme knowledge. Progressive Direct has not only revealed their rates, but those of their competitors. If you were any more in the know, you would be drowning in, you know, the know. Compare Progressive Direct rates with competitors' rates, because knowledge is power. Visit Progressive.com. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. Comparison rates not available in all states or situations. Prices vary based on how you buy. Blog Talk Radio. Your goals are our goals, and your success makes us successful. You're listening to ThinkBigRadio.com, where big thinkers come to teach and learn. We'd like to thank you all for your continued support and spreading the word about ThinkBigRadio.com. Have you spread the word today? Big Day, ThinkBigRadio.com. Listen, is Big here, your host today. Thanking you again for your continued support and spreading the word about ThinkBigRadio.com. Got a couple of announcements tonight before we start Lesson 2, Episode 2, and Chapter 1, which is dealing with your budget. Uh, first of all, we are now on iHeartRadio. So we're getting a lot of hits to the station now from uh, our iHeartRadio fans. Uh, thank you guys for those of you who have iHeartRadio and who have downloaded uh, that information to your automobile so that you can listen to some of the shows. Uh, for those of you who know, we have now an app on the Google Play Store and the Apple Play Store. So uh, you guys can go to that and just put in Think Big Radio Podcast. You'll be able to down that, uh, download that. We're making a lot of moves right now, and uh, it's because of a couple of things. Uh, the first is that at thinkbigradio.com, we all had a passion about networking and about meeting people. And so even though we treated it as a quasi-type business, it was really about meeting people across the country, interviewing, interviewing them about what their passions were, and uh, learning a lot of things on the way as well as sharing the things that we know. So we decided uh, earlier this year to say, uh, hey, let's get serious about this. Let's reach back out to the people who have been on the show and offer them something uh, for helping us grow and from being with us, you know, these 10 years we've been on the air. And uh, at the same time, just providing uh, different types of content for our uh, listening audience who covers, you know, everything from 18 to 80. So we wanted to create a lot of series around, you know, things that matter for the different age groups. And uh, so far we're, we've been successful. We finally have a program director. Uh, we need about We need at least another one. Uh, because she's been doing so much work behind the scenes uh, to assist us, uh, Nakia Pinckney. Uh, you can find her on one of our Facebook pages that deals with uh, Think Big Radio. Just put it in there. So tonight, uh, this is my series, Must Listen to Get, M-U-S-T-L-I-S-T-E-N-T-O-G-E-T. Mastering understanding states training leads into success that everyone needs. This offers growth, enlightenment, transcendence. That's our acronym for must listen to get. So this is about building your foundations of wealth because uh, here at Think Big Radio, uh, we've interviewed different uh, business owners, different entrepreneurs, uh, multi-million dollar makers and those who are just starting off making their first uh, $1,000 a month in their business. Uh, one of the things that we've always noticed is that there was a certain system, program that they followed. And uh, most of us being entrepreneurs and business owners in our own right, uh, whether it's part-time or full-time, 
we follow the same system. So what the must listen to get building your foundation, this first chapter, uh, which is five lessons deals with is making sure your foundation is strong first. If you have a strong foundation, you'll be able to take your business uh, a lot further than those that fail within the first two to five years. And so that's what we focus on in these first five lessons. So the first lesson of uh, Chapter 1 dealt with who are you, why oh you, your opportunity is unlimited. So it really covered a lot of the different things that uh, make up you. You know, you repro- you're being approached all the time for different businesses, whether it's a network marketing business, whether it's your cousin who wants to start an auto mechanic business or, you know, somebody found out that you were good at handling paperwork and they wanted to hire you to do the paperwork for their business. But the thing about the first lesson about what is you, what are you, is really determining who you are from your own standpoint. Because when you take the time to realize who you are from your own standpoint, then you'll be able to fulfill a part of your purpose because everyone here has a purpose. Uh, and, And your purpose is not to basically get up, go to work every day, retire if you can from one job after working 20, 30, 40 years. You know, everyone has a, a, a greater purpose. And I'm not one who believes that your purpose is to just follow the flow. You know, I, I think that uh, and a lot of our big thinkers here and our hosts here believe the same thing, that it's about identifying what you're here for and then moving forward at it even if it's against the odds. And, uh, and sometimes it is like swimming upstream, but that's what thinkbigradio.com is for, is for you to listen to people who have those same types of feelings like you, regardless of what area or what level they reached in their business. They all had to start somewhere, even if they inherited their wealth or even if they had to go to school or even if they had to claw through uh, corporate to increase their income to get to those, those particular areas. So here on lesson two, we're going to cover one of the most important things to becoming successful, and this is in your personal as well as your business life, and it's dealing with your budget. So episode two, episode one dealt with just getting everything together and downloading the information that you needed to follow us. So when you guys go to thinkbigradio.com forward slash must listen to get four, four, I mean, I'm sorry, five, must listen to get the number five, you'll be able to download the same Excel sheet that we use in our program as well as the workbook from that download link so that you can catch up and see where we are today. So the first lesson we cover about the first 12 pages. And uh, just to be brief, really there was a lot of pages of the different budgets so that you can use to write down before you transfer it to the Excel sheet, and we went over what determining your zero is about. So today what we're going to do is we're going to start on one of the recurring themes that is in every single lesson. So once we get kind of like into a little bit of the nitty-gritty, that's when we go into the things that... They just come with success, and a lot of successful people use this. The first thing that they do is they give thanks. They give thanks. Because no matter where you are, no matter how bad things are going for you right now, there's always something that you can be thankful for, and uh, not just thankful that you woke up today. There's a lot of things. So what we like to focus on, uh, and this is on page 13, which is where I'm starting from in the booklet, uh, is to just give thanks. So I'm going to read this little portion. It is very important that daily you give thanks for the insights and blessings you receive. 
when you take time to acknowledge them, they will come around more often. Giving thanks is like having a great friend that surprises you every so often with something you needed. Start being grateful now. Every day there is something that you can be thankful for. Start taking a note of it. Gratitude improves attitude. Today, I am grateful for. What are you grateful for today? Now, we'd like for you to do these exercises in the evening before you go to sleep so that you'll go to bed on a positive note. And then the best thing that happened to me today was, what was it? Now, if it's at the end of your week, then we want you to think back to the best thing that happened to me this week was. Now, we want you to do this daily and watch how the magic happens. Uh, we just want you to be grateful because so many times we're not grateful for what we consider these little things. And you have to be grateful for little things in order for medium things to happen in order for big things to happen in your life. Now, when we move on in our manual to page 14, that's where we go over tips to save more income. Now, we're going to hit this budget in a minute. And so for those of you who are waiting to hit this budget, make sure you have at minimum right now two months of bank statements. So we're at the end of October. So I want you to have September, August. Make sure you have your August bank statements and your September bank statements because October will get in November. And for those of you who your bank statements run every uh, from the 15th of the month prior, then make sure, you, of course, you have your August 15th to September 15th, September 15th to October 15th. And then, of course, we'll go into the next one in a couple of weeks. But every Monday we're here at 9.30 p.m. for the rest of the year. So on tips to save more income, we have a couple of uh, – Apps. One of the things you're going to find in each lesson is different apps and different things that will help you save more income because we do understand, depending on where you are now and that's where you're starting from, you may not have the opportunity to make any type of extra money any kind of way. So the most important thing for you to do is save on the income that you already have. So this first app that we have is called Receipt, Receipt Talk. Earn cash or Amazon gift cards from your receipts. So you guys can go on there and, of course, download this, and you'll see the links that take you to these apps, and they'll go a little bit more in detail. And then we have PACT Pact. You like to work out? You'll love this app. So you can earn cash by living healthy. If you're already part of a gym and have an active health plan, this will be a blessing for you. Uh, we, at live, we Live Life Big are concerned about the total you. Uh, so for those of you, Think Big Academics is where this entire program is, and you can register for January to really get into the details. But we also call it We Live Life Big, which is building investment globally. We Live Life Building Investment Globally. So if you happen to see any of the information that says we live life big com, it's basically a que- it's a questionnaire that can determine what it is that you're really seeking and what it is that you really need for you to become successful in you. After that, we have the next app, which is called Snip Snap. And it says stop throwing away those coupon mailers and stop snapping these offers. Hey, it's real simple. You got the coupon there. Instead of throwing it away, open up your Snip Snap app, take a snippet or what we call a picture of the app, and then that way when you go to these different stores, you know, of course, that they want it. The first thing that they do is they kind of like uh, scan that that code. Well, you got the uh, code in the app now, so you don't have to necessarily have the paper. All right, and then of course we have our uh, Earn Income, We Live Life Big app, which takes you back to that uh, questionnaire at welivelifebig.com. Okay, page 16, we get into the getting started uh, marketing tips and templates. 
And because we don't have 100 pages on this particular lesson, I'm going to cover the marketing in the next lesson after we go over the credit report. So let's start with these bank statements right now, guys. So if you've got those bank statements, bank statements from August 15th to September 14th, September 15th to October 15th, or uh, August 1st to Sep August 31st, September 1st to September 31st, make sure that you pour those out. Now I want you to take a blank sheet of paper, and we're just going to do a couple of categories. Uh, you'll be able to choose your own category. No categories are the best for any particular person, but uh, based on the people that uh, I've counseled in the past, uh, working with a nonprofit corporation where I've, you know, basically uh, assisted about maybe seven to 8,000 self-employed people uh, just from two years of bank statements, these are some of the categories that you might want to choose to write on that paper. So your category one is going to be uh, food, grocery, that's 1A, and 1B is fast food. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to do another category that's your recurring bills. Now, these are bills that don't necessarily, uh, you just don't remember right off the top, and that's why it's important for you to have your bank statements because there are certain things we know. We know what our mortgage is principal interest, taxes, and insurance, uh, HOA. We know what our uh, rent is for those who are renting still. And uh, we know what our auto and our auto insurance is. Those are things we know right off the top, but there's a lot of things that you're going to discover in your bank statements for those of you who just kind of, you know, live by the fly that you forgot about, but they're still taking it out of your account but you're not budgeting, so you don't really know what's going on. So number three is going to be recurring bills. Uh, this is going to also work. You put your gas bill, light bill, Netflix, Hulu, uh, Gears TV, uh, all of those different things that you might be using, cable bills, uh, so that you'll have a, a set amount and know what you're at. And then you're going to do necessities or one-time items. So uh, that could be anywhere from this particular month you had to get your brakes changed. This particular month you had to change some flat tires. Those are like your, your one items. Uh, you, you, you may be buying things from one of those uh, Amazon accounts where you're getting something monthly that you really can cut back on. So that's why we've got the bank statements out. So now you know for the food and grocery sections, you might be a person who goes to shop every week for what you need, every two weeks, or maybe once a month. So when you scroll through your bank statement, you're going to look for that. You're going to look for the times when you know that you're in a grocery store, a grocery store purchasing. Uh, now, the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to start, you know, in that first month, let's, let's say we're in September, September 1st to September uh, 29th or 31st or however it rolls for you, uh, you're going to go with fast food. So now when you're looking down your fast food, and I'm just going to share with you a couple of my little fast food statements. Uh, now I'm doing a lot better, of course, uh, because I really don't cook at home. Uh, but I still found some horrific things uh, that, you know, I shouldn't have did. So in September, I'll just point out one. As I'm going down from uh, starting at September 29th, moving my way down, uh, I like to go to the movies, so I'll have some movie things on there. I don't go to the movies as much anymore, but when I do, I might sneak into another theater. Uh, of course, I don't do that. I was just uh, playing. Uh, let's see here. So I've got my statements in front of you because uh, every quarter I always check mine as well. All right, so here we go. I'm, ooh, I'm yeah, did really good. Okay, Let's see where I can get to something that I've actually went to a place. Okay, here it is. So September 12th, and that's not bad for me to start all the way at the top. At uh, let's see right here. 
Mine starts at September 29th. That's where it where it starts, and uh, and I'm going backwards. So the first time that I ate out, from September 29th down, was all the way down to September 12th. And I went to Bonefish Grill in Huntersville, because I'm out here in Charlotte, North Carolina, and I spent $55. So me and a friend went and hung out. Uh, she was having soup, and, uh, of course, you know, I like to eat. So I had uh, a really nice uh, salmon and some things of that. So that was a $55 bill. And then from there, it just starts uh, getting worse. Worse, You know, one of the places I went, $9.45. Then uh, same day I got charged for the Wild Wing Cafe. Uh, But I did good. I think that I spent in September, based on just what I'm looking at right now, less than $100 in fast food. Now, for some, that's a lot. For some, that's not bad. Uh, but believe me, I've I've done a good job since I started doing my budget over uh, a year ago when I really started taking control and and really seeing what I was doing so that I'd be able to save money for specific things. Uh, so once you finish that, those are one of the areas that we can cut back on to increase your income to put uh, – remember – You have to assign your money to a goal. So that fast food, that's one of the cutback areas. Now, recurring bills. So some of you might have been with your service provider, uh, whether it's T-Mobile, whoever, Sprint, Verizon, AT&T, for over five years. Now, of course, we know that every day we see some type of advertisement talking about You can get this or you can get that and you can save on this. But when you've got five or more years on anything, you want to call, ask to speak to a supervisor, and renegotiate. So let's say you've got seven years on something. And this, of course, will be for more people who are, uh, you know, more so in their 30s and taking care of things or you know, late 20s if you started uh, paying certain bills, you know, in your 20s. But five or more years, renegotiate everything. So imagine if you've got seven things and you can save $15 on or $10 on each, you know, that's $70. The only thing that they can say is we can't do that. We don't do that. But you've got to be relentless in this because this is your money. And if you want to become successful and you want to do things, the same things you're doing now on your personal accounts, you're going to be able to do for those of you who want to on your business accounts also be able to save like that. Also to know at certain times you have to ask. I had a buddy that had T-Mobile. He had T-Mobile for about eight years. And, uh, you know, one day he told me, he said his phone bill was $35. He had unlimited talk, text, and web, $35. I was like, I, like I've never seen it advertised. I've never seen it marketed anywhere. And he said, well, you're not going to find that. But I called, you know, I complained about this, that, the other, and finally got through to someone who was able to do that for me. Now, I don't know what his bill is today because this was, uh, you know, over six, seven years ago. Uh, but I'm sure this guy, he, he's not paying more than 50 for everything, unlimited, you know, because that's the type of person he is. He's going to go out there and he's going to go at your throat when it comes to saving money. So you want to renegotiate everything that you can so that you can uh, have more income for things that matter and you also want to cut back on things that you really don't have to. You know, now necessities are necessities, but you can find different ways. And for those of you who love the coupon, you know, go out there and coupon. Find you a person who loves the couponing 
and uh, have them teach you. You know, there's a lot of groups on Facebook. You Use these social media sites, Facebook, LinkedIn, Pinterest. You can always find something that deals with couponing, something that deals with saving money. Join those groups and look. Because remember, determining your zero, whatever your bills are, and then you add 10%, that's your zero. And so the name of this game is lowering your zero. For those who don't want to work an extra job, for those who uh, don't have a different education or skill set to, you know, get some type of extra job or earn extra income, you have to start with where you are. And where you are today, you're going to have to work to cut some of those things out. But if you don't have a goal, then why do you need to do it? Why would you need to do these things if you didn't have a goal? And that's why we're talking about in our first lesson and in every single chapter, setting goals. Because each chapter, there's goals that you can set, and there's commitments that you have to make to yourself. So make sure, guys, that you get those two months of bank statements. You scroll down. You put all this information into the uh, form uh, that you printed out, the workbook. And then when you're ready to, you're going to transfer it over to your Excel, and those, that Excel sheet is going to add up everything. And then you can sit down, uh, if you're by yourself, or sit down with your partner, and you can say, hey, uh, babe, this is what we need to do in order to uh, get to where we want to be in our lives. Because that's what it's really about, getting to where you want to be and being comfortable. Most people don't have a month of income saved in their savings account or their checking account. So just imagine, and I'm not talking about your gross. I'm just talking about your net. So if you're making a thousand, or let's say you're bringing home eight hundred, which is sixteen hundred a uh, a month, do you have sixteen hundred dollars uh, in your account? And one thing that I like to uh, stay away from is that word emergency account. Don't use that word for your extra or your additional money because when you have an account that's called emergency account, yeah, you guessed it, emergencies are going to happen so that you will have to go into that emergency account. So what we like to do is we like to call those uh, either an advantage account, a prosper account, or just give it a positive name. But don't call it an emergency account. If you call it an emergency account, uh, you, know, you best believe there is going to be an emergency that happens. Uh, some of you guys that are listening in right now, uh, just make sure you go to thinkbigradio.com forward slash must listen to get five. You can download the Excel sheet from there as well as the workbook that I am reading from. All right, so today was bank statements. It was very simple. Uh, we're going to cover the getting started marketing tips and templates. Make sure you listen to Lesson one of uh, lesson one of this part, which is minding your money. And for those of you who haven't listened to the first portion, you can find that also on thinkbigradio.com. Listen now. You'll see all of those. Uh, after these entire sessions are done, you'll also be able to go to my personal website, kenbigblake.com forward slash thinkbigradio, and you'll see all of those lessons uh, down there so that you can listen at your leisure. Uh, but the most important thing is you won't get everything that you can possibly get from uh, these brief little uh, interviews that I'm doing about the system. You're going to have to go through the through the system. And you'd be able to find that at www.thinkbigacademics.com. 
dot com forward slash register. And uh, we won't be seeing any more than uh, 40 people a session. Uh, we've done more than that, but it just works out better when the when 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 the class is smaller and there's people who actually want to uh, take charge of their lives. There's a lot of people out there that say they want to, uh, but I don't even think they're fooling themselves. They just want to talk the talk, but they don't want to walk the walk. Uh, we here at ThinkBigRadio.com have been putting these shows together for over 10 years because we want those who are ready to walk the walk to be able to walk it and still save money. Now, you can't get everything for free. So some of the different experts that we have on the show uh, and some of the people that we've interviewed, you know, seven, six, seven, eight years ago, uh, they have some significant wealth right now. <laughs> so you might have to pay for a couple of things, but get what you can for free and study what you can for free, but then know that you're going to have to invest sometime some real money into your education. Uh, we've all done it, and it's something that you should uh, actually have, you know, some of that money set aside for. You can't lose when you're uh, investing in your own education. So, guys, I'd like for all of you that have tuned in today and that will tune in uh, at a later date, I want to thank you. Uh it's my pleasure to provide some of the experience and lessons that I've learned in my short time here on earth. And uh, hopefully when I'm gone, this will still help some people. But with that said, we'd like to thank you all again for choosing to listen to thinkbigradio.com, listening to the personal and business development, determining your zero, part two. Next Monday, we'll go over part three which deals with now you're going to have your credit report so that we can move forward with the things that are on your credit report so that uh, we can start assigning some of that income to helping you clear uh, items that shouldn't be on there and items that you can start getting rid of. Thanks again, guys. And with that said, love you're you all. listening to thinkbigradio.com, where big thinkers come to teach and learn. Your goals are our goals, and your success makes us successful. Hi, this is Maury Moreland Morrison, here to tell you GEICO has more than just great savings. Much more. GEICO's been around for more than 75 years, back when they were using Morse code. Sorry, that's just my sense of humor. What's more, with GEICO, you get 24-7 access to licensed agents on the app, online, or over the phone, so you can talk to them at night or in the morning. So forevermore, just know that no other auto insurer has more more than GEICO. More power to you. GEICO. Expect great savings and a whole lot more. Progressive presents Mind Flowness with Flow. You are a mighty fortress of supreme knowledge. Progressive Direct has not only revealed their aids, but those of their competitors. If you were any more in the know, you would be drowning in, you know, the know. Compare Progressive Direct rates with competitors' rates because knowledge is power. Visit Progressive.com. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. Comparison rates not available in all states or situations. Prices vary based on how you buy. Progressive presents Mind Flowness with Flow. You are a mighty fortress of supreme knowledge. Progressive Direct has not only revealed their rates, but those of their competitors. If you were any more in the know, 